Hi, got a question uh, about how do you deal with missing footprint, um, uh, missing symbol instance error. Uh, the description for the exact error is in the, or the exact error is in the description below. All right, so how do you fix the error when you get PCB new layout and then you want to do this thing? Do you want to replace this board? Sure. All right, new layout creation failed to correct. Okay. So you get this error, it says property PCP footprint missing from instance R1, blah, 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 blah. What does that mean? Okay, there's uh, there's a property, there are a bunch of properties assigned to every part in your schematic. Uh, let's so uh, let's right click and look at um, properties. So you right click edit properties, right? And there, there's a ton of properties. First you click on the parts tab. And for this one part, you have a color you can select a color that you want for it, a designator, a graphic, ID, a bunch of properties here, including a PCB footprint. So let's take a look at this. It says DRC, design rule check error, physical. So it's a physical error, first of all. That's what the DRC is checking for. The description, it says or cap. I think it means or cat capture. And then this is the code for the specific error. This is the error code. Property PCB footprint missing from instance R1 LED PCB LED PCB. Okay, right. So this tells you, first of all, R1, that's the um, reference designator. I'm looking at J1, so this doesn't have this problem, but LED PCB is the circuit schematic folder, and then this is the page name LED PCB. And then two point on it. On this page, we have coordinate 2.80 in the X and 1.70 in the Y. So it tells you where to find this part. And then the detail is R1. So there are a bunch of properties that are assigned to each part. And it's saying that the PCB footprint property. So we need to look at the properties and look at the property that says PCB footprint. This J1 has something in its properties. So it's not this. Plus it tells us it's R1. So let's double click and click on R1. It highlights R1 for us. Notice how that connector turned green because I changed this property. Now I can right click edit properties for R1 and I need to scroll down to the property that it's talking about. It says PCB footprint and PCB footprint is blank. So what this is complaining about is capture is saying, Hey, I'm trying to generate a printed circuit board for you. However, I need a physical land pattern or footprint for this idea, this uh, capture symbol. Okay. So with PCB editor and the ORCAD cadence suite, the footprints are not automatically matched to a part. You can attach any footprint to any schematic part. And that's very powerful. So where do we get this PCB footprint name from? Well, you need to go into the folder hierarchy or a set of folders. Actually, let's go to PCB editor. So you would open up PCB editor or PCB designer, whatever it's called. Now this is another printed circuit board I generated before forcing this error. So you would go to file open and then you can go to your installation folder. Then go to cadence. I have 17.2 and 17.4 installed. Just go in whatever folder that makes sense for your installation. And then go to share PCB. PCB underscore lib and then symbols. Now nothing shows up on the symbols. You actually need to look for drawing files that DRAs and then they ship, they show up, they appear and you can look at the footprints. Let's say you want a 1206 footprint for your resistor. Well, you kind of have to dig through all the footprints. <laughs> I mean, it's not great, but it's something. Uh, and from experience, only from experience, would you know that you need to look for something like SMD or SMR 1206. Let's say you want a 1206 package and you click it, you click on this P here and this shows you a preview of that footprint. Let's see if I can expand this. This is where all the footprints are hiding when you install the software, the default pre-install footprints. Then you can click on it and to get a preview. And then you can even open it to check it out, right? And then you're like, yeah, yeah, I definitely want to use this. And you take a note of the name of this footprint, SMR 1206. 
So then you go to ORCAD capture and then just type in SMR 1206, 1206 actually. Now that it knows the name of the footprint to look for, you're not gonna get this error. So you save that, close it. And we're gonna run the, we're gonna attempt to run, a, a create a new PCB again, let's click no. So let's go to PCB new layout, LED board. Yes, I wanna replace it. And see, boom, it pulls up because it was able to look at the, it, here's the other thing, PCB editor looks at certain folders by default for footprints. That location I just went to, it always looks in that folder for footprints and pad stacks and whatnot. So whatever PCB editor sees, the ORCAD capture is gonna see. And where are, where are my footprints, right? Well, you can go to place components by reference designator and then zoom in and then you place your parts. The resistor shows up as this, and that's great. Okay, so there's something else. You go to setup, let's go to setup and figure out where exactly, like how, how do we know what folders PCB editor knows to look in for footprint. So you would go to setup, user preferences, and go to paths, library. And the PSM path is the most important. The, the explanation on what this is, is down here. Category path library, right? So click to specify search path for library symbols, PSM part symbol, uh, uh, BSM, SSM, flash symbols and all that, mechanical symbols and whatnot. And then you set your folder to look for, you set your settings. First of all, the dot here means that it's going to, that PCB editor is going to look in the same folder as the project or as the board. So let's say you have your ORCAD capture project or your printed circuit board in your, whatever folder you have. Any footprints that you put in that directory will show up. It's gonna search for those footprints first. Any footprints that show up in the symbols folder, like in, a, in your project directory under a folder named symbols, it's gonna look for that. Any footprints that are a, a directory above the current directory of your printed circuit board, it's gonna look there. Any symbols that are in a symbols folder in the folder above, actually, you know what, let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So let's go to desktop, right? So dot means current directory. Any footprints here or symbols, it's gonna look here. Symbols, any, if you have a folder in here called symbols, it's gonna look in that folder. You have dot dot, that means it's gonna go up one level and then look for any footprints or symbols that are here. Symbols are in dot DRA and dot PSM files. Just like what we had, the SMR 1206, that's an example of such, such a symbol. It's also gonna look in this folder above the working directory. Right now we're in the Allegro folder, okay? That's up here. So yeah, anything above here, the dot dot slash forward slash symbols. If you have a symbols folder in here, it's gonna look there. Now let's keep looking. It's once it doesn't find anything there, or if it does find something there, it doesn't matter. It's gonna keep searching. It's gonna look and see cadence, your installation folder, share local PCB symbols. Okay, that's where I just found the SMR 1206. That's the default installation directory for all the pre and saw libraries. It's uh, oh, actually, no, not even that. This is a different one. Share local PCB symbols. It looks there. Then it looks for that folder I just went to. Then it's going to look for share PCB Allegro lib slash symbols. Then it's going to look at whatever custom footprints that you put in here. I put it in a folder. And then finally, there's also another thing for the part search provider <clears throat> where it looks in this folder as well. You can set a specific folder Let's say you have a, an online network drive of footprints and whatnot and symbols. Uh, you can put that at the top of the stack. Say, you know, this will take priority over every folder where PCB editor looks for in uh, for its symbols. So you can do that. Uh, it's still going to look for all, everything else, though. It is always going to go through all of this list. Just know that if it finds a symbol or footprint in this folder with a specific name, 
Then it finds a similar footprint with the same name in a folder below it. It's always going to take that first symbol and pad stack name from that first folder, and it's going to ignore any other uh, folders that have footprints or pad stacks with the same name. That means if your latest, most updated parts are in your network drive, and you happen to name a footprint or pad stack the same name as what's in one of these higher priority folders, PCB editor is going to pick that symbol first and ignore whatever's in your network drive. So you might want to put this at the top of your stack, actually. Click OK. All right, so that's where you put your footprints. You click apply and that's how you set that. Now, once you've made this setting, you want to you want to close PCB editor and also close ORCID capture, then reopen ORCID capture. And then when you do the PCB new layout or whatever, it'll show up and notice how that got rid of that error as well. So this was a long video, but um, I just really needed to explain this because it can get it's very confusing. You know, it's it's uh, it's unless you have been through it, it's nearly impossible to know any of this. Uh, nearly impossible. It's in the documentation, actually. But yeah, you know, uh, who what what do you look for in the documentation to solve that problem in the first place? Is the question, right? So that's why I made this video. Okay, I hope this helps. Bye.